Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you about lists. One of the most important and also one of the things in Python that you're going to be using a lot. So a list is pretty much exactly um, what you think it is, just like a list of numbers. You can actually have a list of anything, but in this video I'm going to be showing you guys just a list of numbers because that's the easiest type of list to work with. So I'm going to name my list players. So say that I'm a coach and I want to keep track of all my players on a certain team. So set a variable equal to something and instead of just having a list of numbers like this, you actually need to put all of your items in between square brackets. That's how Python knows that, okay, I'm working with a list. So I have one player named 29, another named 58, another, they say name 66, another with the number 66, one that wears a jersey 71, and my last player is number 87. And these are actually numbers from my favorite sports team. So if anyone can tell what my favorite sports team is just by the number jersey they wear, then I will actually be impressed. So anyways, for those who don't care about that, right now we have a list of numbers. Of course, remember, in computer programming in Python, it always starts counting at zero. So this is position zero, one, two, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, just like a string, what we can do is type the name of the list and then the position number, and it can get that item. So again, zero, one, two. So players at position two, that'd be 66. All right, simple enough. So let's figure out how to do something else. So that is how we access an item in that position, but we can also change it to a new value. So we'll say, okay, actually we traded number 66 to another team and instead we got 68. So what this does is say, okay, set players two to 68, just like we do variables. So now whenever we type out players, as you can see, 66, which was the old value is now changed to 68. So again, this is how you just read information and this is how you set it equal to new values or new numbers. Now, another thing that we can do is add more items to the end of this list and we can do it in one of two ways. The first way is just to say players, which is equal to this list and we can add it with another list. Let's say, I don't know, 90, 91 and like 98. Now whenever we hit enter, it gives us our new list, which was the old one of this one, plus what we just wrote. However, this doesn't permanently change the players list. The original players list is still the same. It just temporarily um, gives you a new list. So what you could actually do is you can actually set this entire statement equal to a new um, variable like players like new players or something and use that variable but just remember that this statement itself doesn't change this original list now there are actually going to be some times where we do want to change the list permanently and add items on there that is going to affect um, the list itself so in order to add items permanently freaking caps lock we can do players dot and call the function append now, I know I didn't talk to you guys much about functions or the dot operator, but I just want to show you guys this real simple trick. So what this does is it basically says this, write the name of your list, then right after it without any spaces, write the dot, and this means do something to this list. Now append pretty much means add something on. So in between here, we write the number that we want to add on, like, I don't know, 120. So now in this line, we added another item or number onto this list. And if we print that bad boy out, check it out. This was our list before, and now here is our new list. So again, append permanently changes your list. The plus sign temporarily changes it. All right, not bad, not bad. Lists are pretty freaking cool so far. Now. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is how to slice items from the list just like we did with uh, strings. So if we ever want to do 
players too. What this does is it starts at the beginning, which is right here, and it goes to position two. So zero, one, two. And of course, remember that it doesn't actually include this item. It just says, okay, that's the stopping point. So as you can see, just like slicing characters, you can also do it with um, lists. I can't even talk right now. I think my brain's about to explode. Okay. So aside from that, we saw that you can just use this to display. Now you can also use this to set um, it equal to new values at once. So before you see up here how we took one item from the list and, sh and set it equal to a new value. Well, since this piece of code right here returns two items, we can set this equal to two new items, such as, I don't know, let's make something easy to see. So as this say is it says, okay, take the items at position one, zero and one and set them equal to zero and zero respectively. So that is how you replace multiple items or multiple values at once. All right, not bad. Now, another thing that you can do is this, and this is actually really handy. Say that instead of zero, zero, which are actual numbers, then we just wanted to remove those items. So what we can do is this. If we take the first two items from the list and set them equal to empty square brackets with no values in them, it's gonna say, okay, pretty much take these values and remove them or set them to empty, not even zero. So now whenever we type players, check it out. These values, which were zero, are now permanently gone. So that's how you delete items from your list. Now, what if you just wanted to delete your entire list? Well, it may sound confusing, but it's actually pretty easy. Take players and set it equal to empty. Now remember, by default, this colon right here says, where do you want to stop and where do you want to start or start and stop? Well, if we just have a colon with nothing to the left and nothing to the right, it's going to grab the entire list. And of course, we know setting equal to square bracket says take this entire list and empty everything. So now whenever we write players, we just get an empty list. So that's how you clear an entire list by removing all the items. And again, I know this is a lot to cover with lists, but we are going to be using lists a lot. It's kind of intuitive, but it's kind of confusing at first. So you might have to watch this tutorial one more time. If you have any questions at all, then just ask me on my forum. I'll be happy to answer them for you. But for now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.